Now, there's a lot of things that you can say about Will Smith, and I'm not even saying that this scenario in general isn't a possibility, but ah, the way that it's being described and the people involved in this situation, I gotta press X to doubt on this. This is why I didn't cover it at the time when it was breaking earlier this week, because I already knew the people that were involved, okay? You have a Tasha K, okay? The same Tasha K who successfully got sued by Cardi B. Again, it's another perfect situation where you have somebody who's very likely to have committed the crimes that Tasha K is alleging, but then at the same time, the situation at large, you know, it's not exactly a fair recitation of the event. YouTuber who defamed Cardi B can't dodge most of the $4 million judgment via bankruptcy. Two years after Cardi B won a nearly $4 million defamation verdict against a YouTube host named Tasha K over salacious lies about drug use, STDs, and prostitution. How did Cardi B come up in the game? She was a stripper who made her bones, and she also went publicly on several podcasts saying that she would drug men, put them to sleep, steal their wallets, okay? Like, she's admitted that. Okay, but of course, Tasha's got to go over the top saying that she had like herpes or some shit like that, just spreading malicious lies, okay? That is, regrettably, somebody's mother, okay? Like, there's a lot of things that you can criticize about Cardi B, her lack of talent first and foremost, but you gotta be accurate on this shit. So when I seen that she was bringing on somebody to dunk on Will Smith, somebody who was already getting dragged for a multitude of reasons, and then he had his bitch-ass wife also release a tell-all tell memoir exposing the fact that they haven't really been in a relationship like that for the better part of a decade. Like, it's tough, okay? Like, this is clout chasing at its best. And so she decided to bring on Brother Bilal, okay? Somebody who's been with Will Smith since day one. Former assistant, best friend, and all of that stuff. And he's out there just absolutely cooking, or I'm sorry, straight killing, and it's like, ah, come on. Okay, it's hilarious. Okay, the memes are going to be great. But it's like, okay, do I think that Will Smith could end up being a pillow biter? I don't think that it's out of the realm of possibilities. But do I think that this situation right here, this specific case happened the way that it's being ta or told? Well, we'll just go ahead and put the information out there to begin with. And I'll let you decide on that. And then I saw sexual acts that I, when I walked in on. Yeah. Who'd you walk in on? him and Dwayne Martin. Dwayne Martin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From above the rim, right? Like, okay. You know, a nineties movie star as well. And Will Smith also or fresh Prince of Bel-Air at the time. So yeah, it would make sense that they were running in similar circles, but okay. I walked in, I walked in on them performing sexual acts. What, what happened? Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. Okay. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will. You got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafe. Yep. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. Okay. I'm like, where's this guy at? So now, this is something else, okay? Because I'm going to go ahead and say that, you know, as a for, as his former personal assistant, this is probably a scenario that he found himself in. So I would imagine this part of the story is likely true. It's just what comes next, pause, is more than likely uh, exaggeration, perhaps, perhaps. So now I'm holding Dwayne down too, so I have the keys to his dressing room. So I Not like holding them down by like holding his hand or pressing his head down or anything like that, but also, you know, being an assistant for him or at least looking after him in some form or fashion. Got to go ahead and translate the uh, hood knees. I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yeah. Yo, we need to get Will here. I'm like, yo. So he had a cell phone at the time. So this must have been, this is interesting. Okay. Kind of fucked down. Like I'm trying to find is like, this is, <laughs> this is unlike him, right? So all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Oh Lord, yo! All right, we just went from a zero to a hundred on that one. Let me process that for a second. <laughs> there was a couch, and um, Will was bent over on the couch. I gotta be honest, okay, I'll run that back, I know, it's like, Don, you just, you did that, okay, it's just about to get spicy, but what an obvious jump cut, as you can see right there, obviously, okay, you know, just focus on me for a second, I gotta go ahead, and I gotta go ahead and compose myself for a second, but then, yeah, obviously, you know, just the body language shift off of that one, I think we're missing something in here, okay, like, this could just try to be for a viral clip, 
But is it going to end up biting her in the ass? Well, probably not any harder than Dwayne Martin was. Anyway, was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder, like murder. It was murder in there. <laughs> oh, Lord. It was straight murder. He was murdering him. He was standing up and just murdering him. Like that paints a fairly vivid picture. And he told it in a reasonable amount of detail. And it's like, yeah, I can understand why this clip would go viral because it's hilarious, okay? Confirmed cuck for years at this point in time. Somebody who has become the public punching bag gets even more crazy. Yeah, totally makes sense, right? But is it necessarily true? I don't think so, okay? Mostly because when I seen Tasha K, immediately a red flag. But now, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, like, what does this bitch have to do with anything, okay? You're not even his fucking wife anymore. You're, you're strange, sort of. Slam claim he slept with Dwayne Martin. Threatens to sue him. Oh boy, it's about to get juicy. Maybe not as juicy as that couch was. Will Smith is slamming. <laughs> Yeah, do you have to right off rip? Uh, new claims that he uh, all, once slept with all of us actor Dwayne Martin. Slept with? It didn't really seem like there was a lot of sleeping or a lot of passion involved on that one. It was mostly just, you know, clapping cheeks. Straight murder. Or killing him. A rep for the Hitch star. Yo, man, that's how far you gotta go back for you know a re uh, an acting credit for Will Smith? Come on, man. 55. Dismiss the rumor uh, made by Smith's alleged former friend and assistant brother Bilal in an interview this week with Tasha K. The story is completely fabricated and the claim is unequivocally false. The rep told TMZ adding that the Oscar winner is now considering taking legal action against Bilal and Tasha K as well, but those pockets pro probably aren't nearly as deep. In the interview, Bilal said, yeah, once I opened the door in Dwayne's dressing room, and that's that's when I seen Dwayne having anal sex with Will. There was a couch, and Will was bent over the couch, and Dwayne was standing up killing him, murdering him. There was a murder in there, he reportedly said. No, he did. We've seen the clip. Will uh, Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, on Wednesday also broke her silence on Bilal's remarks. Yeah, there's a clip that's out there, but it's copyrighted by you know TMZ, and they are, of all the cucks involved in this situation, TMZ might actually be the biggest ones. We sewing, she told TMZ. Who's this fucking we in this situation, you bald bitch? Uh, she told TMZ she was leaving the iHeartRadio state... Uh, building in new york city former red table talk but it's coming back guys host of 52 last month said that she and smith whose marriage has long prompted speculation you've been separated for six fucking years for christ's sakes are working very hard to reconcile i bet uh she also revealed last month that the couple had been separated for six years while smith infamously slapped chris rock who also tried to take a pass at will or i'm sorry not will different different situation uh at jada at the same time and then also several other things for the book that eventually flopped i know shocker right nobody wants to read the life story of a fucking perpetual backup dancer at the time of the publication Dwayne martin 58 had not responded to the claim made by bill all that could have changed at the point where you guys are seeing this video but perhaps i'll talk about it more who knows now uh, who tasha k described as one of the closest people to will aside from jada to sit down with the tell all about him yeah yeah no they they're like like it's shown here okay they've been they've been friends associated for a while and about a hundred pounds ago so yeah no like their relationship there's there's something to that okay but did they but did he see the situation that he saw and what would end up prompting this disclosure especially to somebody as yeah less than credible than tasha k and why why on fucking earth after getting burned by Cardi B in such a public fashion? Because like it says, man, this happened. This happened back in, uh, I think at the end of 2021, like this was going down either just before or just after the Johnny Depp stuff. I think it was just before, I think it was at the end of 2021, but like it says here, yeah, Tasha K filed for bankruptcy in a May petition and said that she had less than $60,000 in assets. So, okay, that's why she has to go ahead and put her own wine on the wall as a background for a podcast studio. Interesting. Uh, in assets, and will not be able to discharge $3.4 million owned to Cardi via the Chapter 11 process. A judge, Scott, or Judge Scott, the judge, who's Judge? Judge Scott M. Grossman ruled Thursday, October 5th, meaning uh, she will continue to be on the hook even after she exits bankruptcy. So she already owes for a very 
obvious case of defamation. Four million dollars to somebody who doesn't need the money but is collecting on principle. Why the fuck? Why the fuck would you take such an outlandish gamble on somebody making such inflammatory remarks for what? For a little bit of clout that's out there? You barely have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of and Cardi probably owns the pot and the window at this point in time. Why would you do that? Why would you go ahead and play with fire once again? Ah, well, it all kind of makes sense, okay? They just never learn accountability, and it's always somebody else's fault. She's somehow, with all of these black celebrities involved, Tasha's probably going to find a way to somehow blame the white man. So with all that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.